And all of the destruction that that caused. Now it's the same thing in the life of Joseph. Or excuse me, Jacob. So maybe he thinks he's justified in showing preference to Joseph for spiritual reasons. Maybe he sees some kind of spiritual reason for being this way. Surely, this one would be the bearer of the promise, but you, would, you know, you would think that Jacob, of all people, would know better. Now, Joseph is going to be a man who's going to be greatly used by God. Joseph is going to go through a lot of different things. He's going to go from the pit to the prison to the palace. We've preached about all that before. He's going to go through a lot of things. He's going to be greatly used by God. But the line, get this my dear friend, the line of the Messiah was going to come through Leah's son, Judah. That's why Christ is the line of the tribe of Judah, my dear friend. So He consistently, what this shows us is that we have a God who is able to consistently use the idolatrous and sinful desires of His imperfect creatures to bring about His perfect will. Somehow, my dear friend, God is able to take the bad and turn it to the good. Amen. I praise His name. So throughout this chapter, we see human sin and we see this rivalry. It's all been driving the action all along. But on another level, God has been accomplishing His purpose of making Jacob the father of a multitude. So, think back on all this. Would Jacob have had, would have had 12 sons if he had this beautiful relationship with only Rachel and and there was no rivalry and all like that. I mean, it's something to think about. So at this point in God's plan, the blessing will not pass to either Judah or Joseph. We're not at the point anymore where there's going to be one winner and 11 losers. No, but we're at the point now in the Word of God, we've come up to the point now where that Abrahamic promise is starting to widen. It's starting to broaden out. It's no longer just two children. You see what's taking place? Now it's starting to broaden out and widen out. And even as Isaac had declared in blessing Jacob, God was making 